today's video, we're at the town of Elma Museum in Elma, New York. Today the museum is not open, but I'm still going to record while I'm here because there's a lot to see. It's a historic herd house from 1846. Back a little bit so you guys can see it. Pretty little house. This is where the museum is. It's open every Thursday and the first and third Sunday of each month. Today's a Wednesday, but here I am. This was just something I came across, so I figured I'd stop in and share it with everybody. It's a building preserved by the Elma Historical Society. Very pretty. Nice bunting for the holiday. beautiful chandelier hanging down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to walk in the back. Oh, there's a church bell. We're going to see what is available here. Oh, they have a community garden where people can come and plant grow vegetables and whatever they want to grow here that's kind of cool i'll try and bring you down on the sign on that so you can see it nice herbs for people to grow little pitchfork Of herbs. This is really nice. So people can enjoy this together. It's very scenic right here. You got a little outhouse. Just goes right along the water. And into the front. Sorry, my hat blew off. Sunny day today, so I'm gonna come armed with a hat. And you're kind of in a residential area and a park too. After this, there's a park way down there. So after I'm done up here, I'll put it on pause and we'll go check out the park as well. It's a cool old building, Heard and Briggs Mill, 1846. It also belongs to the museum. We'll take a walk in the grass here so we can go down to the path. It's down here. And you can see the woods and everything next to it. These are some big old logs. And there's a little side entrance to the mill as well. I'm a little short to see in the window, so I'm just going to hold up my, my stick. Put that up a little bit. I'll put the stick in the window. Hopefully it'll catch something. Because I'm short, so put that right up. Bring it back down a little bit. And there's the 
there's a creek that goes right underneath the mill. There's another building up here. Springbrook Mill, 1844. Let's see a big piece of equipment that they used to use. And a little squirrel. Bring this right underneath. Read the literature. I'm not going to stand too long because there's a big old bee over my head. But this is kind of a cool piece of equipment that they have right here. Like a water wheel. To give them power. And then it's just a view of the woods that it sits along. I'm going to take you across the street. It looks like they have a historical society on this side. Again, it's probably open on weekends. Most of them are. I can always come back on a different day, but I at least wanted to show you that this is out here and how cool it is. Barn Museum. And a commemoration. Again, I'm going to lift up the stick and put you in the window. So I'm too short for the windows around here. So hopefully, it'll show you something in there. bring the stick back down. And there's a piece of farm equipment right there. And another piece of farm equipment right there. Nice big beautiful barn. Go back and get that. It's two stories. Got the hay thing. I don't know proper terminologies. I'm not a farmer. Apologize for that. And that looks like that's the end of this section. I'm going to put you on pause and go back into the park. Start there. Just recording a little information about the Alma Village Mill. We are now entering Village Green Park, which is right behind the historical society that we were just at. And to give you a view of all of the different signage and dog poop things and everything that they got going on here. It's also located right next to the senior center, literally right next to it. I'm gonna go around that so I'm not filming people. Vehicles, glass containers, hunting. Park closes at dusk. We're coming up on a gazebo. As usual, we're probably going to go in it. But there's some benches. Tables, places to just rest. Let's go into the gazebo. Oh wow, this is huge. They do host um, 
concerts here in the summer. This also gets rented out for um, weddings, things like that. So you can kind of get a, a view. Very pretty. Lots of trees, so if you're doing wedding pictures, you don't have to be dead in the sun the whole time. You can relax. Town residents can rent out the pavilions and they can rent out um, the gazebo. Oh, hi puppies. <laughs> Some puppies ahead of me. Everybody was getting a drink. You could be short, tall, or dog sized. They accommodate it all. Bathrooms. Which is very nice, especially after Memorial Day. And then there's a kid park. You can take your kids to play. I can film it because there's nobody on it. Ah, just like the old days. You got the grills, bring your charcoal. Bring your tin foil. Dogs are having a field day over there. Gonna take you for a stroll today. I'm not gonna go too too far. It's like a 30 acre park so there's no way I'm walking all that. You guys already know that. But at least give you a little taste of what's out here. Some of the pretty flowers. Bring in on that. Flora, fauna, all that good stuff. There's little birdhouses everywhere, too. Oh, nice park. Super quiet. Try and slow down a little bit. I'm walking like I'm in a marathon or something. Smart enough to bring my sun hat today. I went from 40s and 50s to 80s. So Buffalo summer is finally here. bunch right here. So I'm going to take a seat, give myself a break. Look how pretty that is. You kind of just mow it out a little bit. You can lay down a blanket, sit under the tree. I'm just going to sit right here. Coming up at a shelter and some water. I want to get this in there for you. Let's see how pretty it is. I didn't take up the path because it was just boring straight path. There's nothing there. And now we've got a little something, something to show you. Very friendly people around here. If you say good morning, they say good morning back. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh. Down I go. <laughs> Look at that. How pretty. And 
Look at all the trees that kind of back themselves up. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm home. This is me, loving it by the water. I'm a Pisces water girl. Not that you needed to know that, but there you are. Very cool, very cool. Tells you a little bit about this part of the creek. And they put it right on a rock. Decided to come around the back of these falls a little bit. Give you a bird's eye view. Right here. Creek going all the way back. How pretty is that? We pretty much hit the end of the park right here. Can't really go any further than that. But hope you enjoyed the walk with me. If you like what you see, like subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.